Well, hello, my friends. Look at this. Husqvarna. Two stroke snow thrower. This is a two stroke, 50 to 1. That's all it says. That's all I can get, get out of it. Uh, before I even start working on it, I'm going to try and get the fuel out of it. Now, I did have a look in there. And uh, it's just a dribble of fuel. So I'm going to do the deed. Let's put this up on one wheel. Whoop. <laughs> that. Bring it down to this end. And then I'm just going to squirt a rag or two into there. Because there isn't much gas. I'm going to use this nice clean one first. With a long screwdriver. Let's see how much we actually get, eh? Oh, that's deeper than I would have thought. Can I get that with my... Hemostat, stop! Oh yeah, I think so. Maybe. We got other weapons. We'll use this to get it a little closer to the surface. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, we didn't get much gas out of it. No. She's dry. There's one little flakeroo down there. But it's big enough that, that there's a screen in the tank it'll stop. I might be able to get that dog. No. But that's alright. So now what do we do? It says 50 to 1 and there's a note on there. Uh, unless using uh, approved two-stroke oil go 32 to 1. So I have right here some 50 to 1 mix. There isn't a lot in here. I'm almost tempted to run it into a, a, another jug just to see. Boy, there sure isn't much in here, is there? Just a minute. Well, it looks fine. Only about 250 milliliters or a cup or so. I'll mix up some more if this works. Well, this is my friend Rolf's uh, little snow thrower. Now we're going to plug this into a wall somewhere so we can get some juice and turn it over. Oh, he runs an extension cord to it. So at least we know the gas that's in the tank is relatively good now. And I didn't see any sediment. Okay. I'm just going to get an extension cord do what Ralph does. Do you think it'll start? You guys are still watching this crazy industry. Right? Yeah, I splattered some fuel around, but not bad. Okay, let's plug the alternating current into the receptacle. And put it on choke. I'm going to move it to a new spot. So if I hit the uh, primer. Not, oh yeah, it's stripping on primer. So it should start. Is there a throttle or does it just run wide open? No, nope, just choke off full. So it should start.
that's the most fun I've had in a while. So it runs. Holy moly, look at that smoking here. <laughs> this is an old school two stroke, you guys. I think I think it just needs a little carburetor clean. But how on earth do I get to the carburetor? These things will have more covers on them. I don't know, I can't say anything. But it does run. Okay. Next. I wish I could just yell that. Next. So we'll uh, turn you off and we'll come back. That was fun. All right, now we're going to put this little beast on the lift. She's a smoky devil, eh? I'm going to take this little door off of here and see if this helps our cause at all. And this is a Husqvarna, so it should be serviceable. Well, there's the spark plug. No, tell me it's not so. Where is the carburetor? There's the gas tank. Well, I better get my light tank. I saw the light. There's a train. Okay, there's the gas tank. There's the carburetor down there. Ooh. Oh, there's been a, a, a man fix on that. One, two, three. Looks like I'm going to have to take those three and these three off. To lift off the cover. Let's just fi find out what's metal. And that is, oh well. Okay. I'm going to take some screws off of this bad boy. So Rolf phoned me up and he said, I want you to work on my snowblower. But he didn't tell me that it was a two-stroke snowblower. Canadian screws in here. Ah, the joys, eh? so hard I can't get them off. stuff and get out of 5 sixteenths. 5 sixteenths, that's about the, the commonest, commonest of common. For some reason I like the extension on that one too. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> 
prendre vraiment These three down here. One. behind the wheel. Yeah, there is. Dirty dog. Yeah. Okay, let's get another, uh, another tool. It looks like a 716 to me. So you can come and look over this side now. I'm working at getting this cover off. I've got one more to go. It's a 7 the 3-8 by Gully. No, it's not a cleaner. It's not a 3 8 Oh, it must be a metric. You gotta be kidding me. So 10 11. It's a 10. Put it on a nut. Yeah. yeah. What kind of a sadistic person would do that? Well, I can get out the carburetor. Very simple. I just don't. Yeah, I might. Okay, here we go, guys. I got it. We're gonna have to just use our imagination. There it is, right there. Eh? So we're gonna pull that off. It's on with with an Allen wrench there, and I don't know what the other one is. Old stuff, right? Took too many screws off this guy. I'm not going to get them all back out. Well, it's an Allen key too. I might be able to get at it. And there's the fuel line. Okay, so first I'm going to take off the fuel line. It's upside down anyway. Wires! Yeah, the fuel line broke. That's really common on these old guys, eh? At least I'm close enough to my toolbox now. I'm going to try and pull that off. Good. Half done. Metric. Allen keys. Although the engine's probably a Tecumseh, eh? so it might be standard Allen screws. Oh, here we go. I'm on her. I just need pliers to grab it and turn it. Yep, okay, I'll show you what I did. Just so you know. Right there. Boy, this is tight. I got the Allen key in the bolt. Can you see right down there? Oh, oh, oh you dirty dog. Anyway, I think you got the idea. Magnet! Yes. I'm going to give you another shot of that with the camera. Holding the flange back with a finger. There's the Allen key in the wrench down there. You see right there? And we're going to screw that all the way right now. 
I don't want to fiddle with two at a time. Now it's getting tougher because it's getting close to the uh, out part. So we'll try this one next. Good. I'm sure you can't see, but neither can I. Oh, it's got a primer hose too, eh? Governor. Can you believe this thing has a governor? Oh, that didn't sound good. Good. Okay, what fell? Oh! Yeah, it's a Tecumseh carburetor. I think I. Oh, that looks bolts. We gotta find out what fell right now. I can put it back together, but I got the pieces. That sounds like. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna see if it came out underneath. Oh yeah, here's the. Th so here's the throttle rod. We got that with the spring. That's good. Let's put that over here with all the screws. I don't know what fell down. Hopefully. gas cap is definitely open from the tank when I turn it sideways. Two-stroke fuel for the old pender lift, eh? Maybe it was nothing. Highly dope. <laughs> okay, guys. Now it's just a carburetor clean. Thank gosh the uh, tank's not leaking when it's upside down like that. Okay, let's just get organized here. Okay, let's check this carburetor out. It might have a spring inside. I've seen that before. Half inch wrench. Good, and we'll do it into a tray so we drop some. <laughs> well, we might have to use the carburetor. Okay, that's good, that's good. I don't want to use the carburetor, car uh, what do you call it, carburetor vise. I might have to. Can you guys see over here? Are you watching? You still are, right? Eh? Okay, let's come over to here. And we'll come to here if you're over there. Yeah, you can see. Just trying to get the bowl off, eh? Mm hmm. Good. Got it! Holy moly! I don't like putting that much pressure on aluminum and brass, no less. Okay, let's make sure there's no spring on the float in here. Soaking now. Whew. 
Okay, now we gotta clean this devil. This is gonna have uh, holes in it. We'll wash that. Get the pin out. Good. I hope there's no springs in here. Nope, there isn't. some gas on that. If I got some, yeah, I should have some. Yep, I do, I do. This is a, just regular fuel on here just so that the uh, carb spray doesn't wreck anything. Okay, now let's look at this jet. No, I'm not going to sing it. Boop, boop. Benny in the jet. Okay, we need a Professional 3116-P poker. Good. And I need a magnifying glass because my glasses are in the house. And it's gone. This should have a little tiny little hole in it. Or I might drown. Okay. There it is. There's always an angled hole in 99.9% .9 of Tecumseh's. Where is it? Right there. That devil. Let's squirt it one more time. I saw it. Right there. It's hard to believe, guys. There it is. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Let's just brush the rest of this up. Still bothering me what fell down inside that snowblower. There it is. That's clean, actually. Stip it in some fuel. What else is dirty on this guy? I don't want to take it apart any more than I have to, right? This is just a vent. There we go. Float too, eh? Just a light air treatment. Good, that's pretty clean, actually. This is too. Okay, and now we're going to clean up this. All the while our, uh, our bowl is soaking in carb spray, right? I'm just going to put this under the, into the ultrasonic cleaner. But that thing takes an hour to set up. Good. Okay, now this devil. Look at that, eh? It's coming. It's 
It's coming off. So no wonder she was running a little off, eh? Actually coming out in chunks. <laughs> We're almost there. I can't believe that thing ran. That's a testament to Tecumseh, really. Sorry, Mick. Managed to get away with a warmer day today, too. Eh? I gotta see something. Am I wearing my really good hat? My work hat. Good. Okay, I think we're there. That's just nasty. Okay, I have to go wash my hands right now. I'll put this bad boy back together. Okay, so all I have to do with my tongue held just right is to get this installed back in there with the choke lever coming out of that slot and the spring and the other end of the throttle, I don't know how it goes, like that probably, uh, connected up and tightened up with this Allen wrench. Nothing to it, eh? Don't worry about the fuel line after. Oh yeah, and it's got a primer bulb hose too, right? So, okay, that's not going to be too bad. So we'll do the, we'll do the, uh, uh, we'll do the, what am I going to call this thing? Throttle first. Good. I know. You guys can't see this, so I might as well not even show you. I'm just going to clip this on here first, and then get the throttle Z bend on there. Pull that up through, and we're good there. Okay, I'm going to just uh, turn you guys off because you can't see anything anyway, and we'll take a picture of it when I'm done. Okay, I don't have any screws left. Basically what we did is we just rebuilt the carburetor, right? So if I hit this primer button, we should see a leak eventually. It may take a while to fill. You can hear it gurgling. Holy, did I put that on there? It's got fuel. Let's get some electricity. Turn off my light. It's actually getting warmer. Right? That's just one law. The lower the voltage, the higher the current to keep the light on. Okay, where's the uh, electricity on or off or here? We'll turn it on now. A little more choke now that we've got some. Oh, no. I'm not dripping yet. There it is. It should start. Carburetor adapter. <laughs> oh lordy. Runs without it. <laughs> well, we're going to have to get the rest of this tomorrow. It's amazing that it even runs, eh? 
and you can see actually at the top of the right here I knew I dropped something down in there and I couldn't figure out what it was so you can see that the carburetor is just the lever is just uh, sitting rubbing the top of the groove so that's got to go on the carburetor dirty dog yeah well that's for another day that won't be too hard now that I know what I'm doing these four bolts only and uh, we'll slip the Bakelite carburetor insulator isolator into the hole.